Hey everyone, if you're a, as big as a fan of Walt Disney's uh, Tron like I am, you'll enjoy this uh, freeware game, GLTron, on the Meat Geek Freeware Computer Game Download Recommendation. Coming up next. In this troubled economy, you might find it increasingly difficult to purchase computer games. Perhaps you are on a budget, or just enjoy quality freeware games. If you fit in any or all of these categories, I could give you some helpful advice. I'm the Meat Geek, and I would like to welcome you to this exciting show. Hello, Meat Geek, very welcome to the game download. Recommendation. When I first saw Disney's Tron, a sci-fi fantasy about a computer whiz transported into a secret inner realm of a supercomputer's memory, I was immediately spellbound. A major highlight of this groundbreaking film, for me, was, of course, the thrilling light cycle races. And recently, I was elated to discover that Disney is going to finally release a sequel, Tron Legacy, due 2010. So if you are a Tron fanatic like I am, don't hesitate. Let's get right to the point. Let's go to www.gltron.org together, and there you will find an awesome, and I do mean awesome, freeware game based on the Tron movie, particularly the light cycles with that scene of the, with the light cycle race. So you'll need to you'll need to go to that www.gltron.org and you'll be greeted with a update sheet or update w web page with various updates and illustrations and click the, the download link and depending on your computer, if you have a Mac, click on the Mac download or Linux or a regular Windows installer. Click the Windows installer and click it and download it onto your computer, whether it be a folder or right on your desktop. So when you click on the game icon and start the game, you'll be greeted with a visually stunning title screen. Incidentally, the game screen looks small at the moment because I adjusted the screen resolution. In just a moment, I'll show you how to readjust it. You are also greeted by a retro 80s rock song, Revenge of the Cats. Uh, you can either replace the song with your own MP3 or just shut off the music, as well as adjust the sound volume. Moving on to the video submenu, you can adjust the art pack with either your style of Tron, you want to play with uh, the fonts to be like classic Tron, uh, Metal Tron, or a default. I prefer classic. Moving on to detail options, you there are various optional, uh, totally optional, totally voluntary um, functions. You can adjust the cycle detail, uh, light cycle, the uh, FPS counter, AI status. To these are totally uh, voluntary. So if you want to adjust, make some fun make some different preferences according to your interests, you can adjust that as well. And of course, under screen options, uh, you are able to adjust the screen resolution, how large the screen is, whether you want it 800 by 600 or larger so it fits the whole screen or a windowed even. Totally up to you. Moving right along to game settings, you can click start game, reset scores, game rules, play settings, configure players, configure keys, and configure joystick. For no more detail, 
detail on these settings, uh, consult the Game Maker's website, which has an, an extensive manual. In addition to single player, you can program the, the game to play against a computer player in a split player uh, mode. You can play against a friend, or in a four player mode, you can play against three other friends or three other computer minds. So I'm starting the game as the blue, blue player against the game's uh, computer AI characters. Moving around the game board, or the uh, cycle, cycle uh, room. You can focus on the player by pressing the mouse button in and out, and you can uh, get a closer look as well. I smashed into a player's beam. Trail. So player two wins for that one. And again, I'm giving this a shot by uh, moving around the mouse, looking at different angles. Pay attention to the uh, lower left-hand corner. There's a map showing my position. And I'm about to uh, block a yellow player. I was able to block the yellow player. Now I smash into my own beam. Everything having been said, this marvelous piece of movie game freeware gets my thumb of approval. It has my recommendation. You the Tetris clone hacker. To see more videos like these, go to my blog, the Meek Geek Video Game Blog, the best in video game news, reviews, resources, which in turn is made available by Video Gamers Oasis, your video game store. Go to www.videogamersoasis.com for game accessories and parts, video game systems, and video games. Go to www.videogamersoasis.com I'm the Meek Geek, and I'm signing off for until later. Recommendation.